Good Wednesday morning, everybody. This is Michelle Mead with the National Weather Service in Sacramento, and we wanted to give you an update on the next Pacific storm that we're looking at for the Friday through Sunday period. You can see we've got moisture coming in from Hawaii, so this is a warm atmospheric river, but it's one of the beneficial types of storms, but there will be some hazardous mountain travel in the Sierra Nevada. Here's a timeline kind of breaking out the hazardous days over the next five days to keep an eye on. Today we do have orange out there and that's for the rain that we experienced this morning. It got a little further north than we anticipated and we're also seeing a little more snow. So we have a snow advisory out for the central and southern Sierra. Tomorrow still looks like the best day to get out and get some things done, including traveling up to the Sierra if you can. Friday and Saturday are hazardous days. Again, the snow levels are quite high. They're going to be starting around 6,000 feet on Friday and lowering to 5,500 feet during the day Saturday. We're also expecting quite a bit of wind with this, so whiteout conditions and hazardous travel conditions should be anticipated. Sunday, things will start to taper off, so you do have an opportunity to uh, get back down into the valley in the afternoon and evening hours. This is the winter weather advisory I was just alluding to in the previous slide. We have um, some snow covered roads, slippery conditions again above 6,500 feet and this will continue into the evening hours. Here's the forecast of the actual snow miles we're anticipating. You can see we do have about six to eight inches of snow at the highest peaks. Here is the winter storm watch for the Friday through Sunday system, you can see we are highlighting the highest elevations of the Sierra Nevada, mainly above 5,500 feet. The snow is going to start overnight Thursday, but the highest snow accumulations, inches per hour with strongest winds are anticipated Friday through early Sunday. And again, we are expecting to be measuring in feet of snow. Here's a map of the snow accumulations that we are anticipating for the Friday through Sunday storm. You can see that we have snow accumulations in the feet once again. The main difference again, like I'll reiterate, is it is for the highest elevations above 5,500 feet. Um, and again, the heaviest snow is expected Friday uh, through Saturday. So your best travel days again are Thursday and Sunday afternoon and evening. Here's a look at what we're anticipating for rainfall accumulations. Again, you can see that we've got basically anywhere from one to three inches across the uh, northern and central Sacramento Valley. And as you head up into the higher terrain is where we get our higher amounts of four to five inches. Like I mentioned, we already have some wet soils and if anyone is not able to clear their drains, leaf accumulations in the drains could cause some urban flooding. So take advantage of Thursday and get out and clear those leaves. Here's a look at the cross sections for those who are considering traveling. You can see that the snow is going to be confined to the higher elevations. So this is along I-80. Again, we are going to see two to three feet of snow across from Kingvale to the summit. 50, same thing. Uh, Lake Tahoe is going to see about six to eight inches, but Echo Summit has 12 to 18. And for those heading to Kirkwood, we do have Highway 88 highlighted here. Again, we are going to be measuring in the feet of accumulation. Like I mentioned, we are going to see gusty winds with this storm yet again for Friday and Saturday. Again, what's keeping things quite mild and high snow elevations is these south winds. You can see we have gusts 45 to 50, mainly in the northern Sacramento Valley, but even down here in the San Joaquin and central Sac Valley, we have gusts 30 to 35. So if you do have outdoor holiday decorations, anything that's loose could get blown around. Just a final reminder about hazardous mountain travel Friday through Sunday. Your best time to travel is Thursday ahead of the storm um, and Monday to be out of the snow. We aren't encouraging travel at all during the Friday through Sunday period. If you do decide to travel, make sure you come prepared with chains, extra food and clothing, and a shovel in case you get stuck. So in summary, we're watching this warm moisture surge heading into interior northern California for Friday through Sunday. 
We are expecting significant mountain travel, mainly above 5,500 feet in the Friday through Sunday time period. We're also expecting some moderate rainfall in the valleys and foothills. And we do have already moist conditions out there from the Thanksgiving Day storm and subsequent rains. So make sure that your gutters and drains are clear of leaves so we don't have any ponding of water. Timing again, Friday through Sunday, we are not advising travel at all during this time. Try to leave on Thursday or late Sunday or Monday. If you are going to travel, make sure you're up to date on the latest road conditions by following Caltrans at their quick maps or by calling their 1-800 number. To keep up on the latest weather forecast, make sure you're checking in at weather.gov Sacramento and following us on our social media feeds of Twitter and Facebook. Thanks so much and have a great afternoon.